Hey folks, we are going to be going over the IR calculator. Your internal rate of return is what IR stands for. And a lot of people, they key in on this next trick because what it's supposed to do is measure time value of money over different investments, non like kind investments, but different time periods. So it's supposed to take into account the time value of money. But in my opinion, and it's one of those things where I think my sophisticators key in on it, but more sophisticated investors think that it is a garbage statistic. And I, that's the camp that I'm in. You know, I've seen it get very manipulated. All you have to do is slide up cash flow from say year four to year two and a half, and you've magically changed your IRR from 14% to 17%, and nobody knows the difference. I When I see a high IRR, especially over 18%, 20 something percent, I automatically call BS and I know that this is happening. But nevertheless, you guys asked for it. So we're going to go through it. This is the IR calculator that really I think is the best way of understanding how this stuff is manipulated by just playing around with the numbers yourself. And it's not that complicated, even though people make it seem like it is. You can make this really complicated. This calculator is based on more of an annual basis and our construction development underwriting models will have it based on every month, right? Like we know we have to buy the lumber in July. We are also going to bring in income. So it's based on every single month. And this is just using a different type of formula. And this one is just really simple, but it's going to prove the point. And I think it's going to make it very clear for you guys to follow along. But in that more advanced one, what it's using is instead of this IRR formula, it's using the XIR, IRX, I believe. Let's just go through the basics first before we confuse the heck out of everybody. Because this is definitely one, again, one of those things where it confuses people. And I think it makes people seem like they're smart just to confuse you. And that's basically what Wall Street does to confuse the heck out of you. So you guys are like, uh, I don't know, just uh, take all my money and also take all the fees along with it. But yeah, so I've been delaying here. Let's go over the, the IR calculation worksheet and let's just see what's going on here. So this first column is an example of, hey, you're doubling your money in five years. So what that means in the first year, 2019, you drop 50 grand in this one and you got nothing in 2020, 2021, 2022, but you got a whole bunch of money, doubled your investment, got your original investment plus 50 grand in 2023. The IR calculator, is pulling from these values and it is showing up as a 19% IR. Obviously the return on investment is 2X. You would think that if you took, you know, 100% divided by five, five years, it would be 100 divided by five is 20. So it'd be 20%, but IRR kind of takes into account the time value of money. So let me play around with this a little bit. Let's just say in year one, after the first year, you got 20 grand back that first year and then you got 80 grand back in the end you see how that ir jumped up from like 19 percent to 24 percent because what we did there we slid 20 grand from the end to the beginning and this is a very classic example of a bs performa maybe that 20 grand you know to be conservative it doesn't hit in 2020 or that first year but more practically it hits in the second or third year. So let's just play around and slide it to the second year and see what happens. So put the 20 grand there, put this to zero. And as you can see, it went down to 22% IR. So 24 to 22. So let's play around with that again. Let's slide it up to the third, fourth year, drop this out, see how it went to 20% there. So by just sliding that 20 grand, which represents like the cash flow Maybe it hits early, maybe it doesn't. You know, performers, I always like to be conservative, make sure it hits later, but it goes from 20 to 24% just by manipulating. And you can see that's this is why I'm saying it doesn't, it's a junk statistic. In theory, IRR is made again to examine non like kind investments and non like kind time periods, right? Some deals are three year deals, some deals are seven or 12 year deals. It's supposed to, evaluate how much is your money working for you based on the time value of money. But in real life, I think it's very manipulated, so I don't really pay attention to it. So investors will ask, I usually tell them, yeah, it's somewhere between 16 to 18%, but really don't dig into it. So here are just a bunch of other examples 
cost it three years, three times your money. And it's like a 44% return, assuming there's no cash flow or distributions prior to the exit. And I would just think you can go file, save to your Google Drive. Don't be that person who asks for permission. It's always embarrassing. You guys download this to your own computer and we'll populate it. We just keep it in here, how it is, so people don't mess it up. Just like how I did it right here. So let me just return it back to how it's supposed to. Oops, wrong. Too many zeros. But yeah, I would just play around with some of these and you, know, you can see how it manipulates it. And not just in five to 10 minutes of playing around with it, you get a good feel for how it changes the IRR, even though the return on investment stays the same. Here are just another other examples that I made. And here's, I took this from a startup calculator. And in the startup world, obviously much higher returns, but a lot more risk because a lot of these are, it's not a backed by a hard asset, which is why we like real estate backed by a hard asset and tax benefits. You invest in some Bitcoin or startup and you triple your money. The government's likely going to take almost half of that. If you're investing your real estate and you're effectively using passive activity losses, which you all talk all the time in our family office on how to mastermind, how to manipulate your taxes. In the end, you keep more money and you made more money by also taking more risks. I don't know why everybody doesn't do it. But anyway, if you guys have any questions, keep this and make sure you're part of our investor club by going to simplepassivecashflow.com slash 